Hello friends, welcome to Insight Learners. So in this video, we shall discuss the coding challenge that was asked in Presidio. So the number of questions that was asked is 1 and the duration of the test that is challenge is 6 hours. And the problem statement is that that is Rentify where renting meets simplicity. So the Rentify is that like it will you are going to design a site which will help the owners to find the correct rents based on their requirements. So as the entire world it is recovering from the pandemic and like everything is coming back to the normal like people are continuing their daily routines like going to colleges, schools, theatres, restaurants as well as offices and also the work from home is also reduced and the lot of offices are open and the people are coming back to their earlier work life everything so there is high demand for real estate once again and the rents have gone up and it is very difficult for one to find the rents that is correct rents based on their requirements especially in the cities where there is high population as well as in IT offices and where there is a IT hub so your task is that you are going to design a website called rentify and which will help the owners to find the correct rents and it will help the tenants to find the correct house based on their key requirements so this is the challenge the statement overview that is the problem statement and coming to the challenge overview the challenge it's first the duration of the challenge it is six hours and it is divided into three parts so the part one part two as well as part three so in part one you are going to design the basic application which is the mandatory step in this round so your task is that you are going to design the components for the basic application using the front end as well as back end technologies and they have mentioned the tech stack so you are going to design using only those technologies and once you are done with the part 1 the part 2 is that you are going to like add on features that is the advanced step like you are going to add some of the additional features to enhance the basic application and the part 3 that is the extra one that is optional that is the bonus section so it is not mandatory as part of this challenge so if you have the time and if you wish to complete like the third step is you are going to deploy the project using AWS and all so if you wish you can do that or you can just do the two step that is part 1 as well as part 2 you can just complete that so these are the three steps included in the challenge and then coming to the tech stack like the candidates you are going to use the, the front end as well as back end technologies so the front end technologies like you can use react or angular or vue.js html and css and for back end you are going to use either dotnet or java node.js spring go programming then zango as well as flask so these are the technologies they have mentioned you are going to design the application only using these technologies so then coming to the like the task and everything in the part 1 part 2 as well as part 3 so the part 1 task is that you are going to design the basic application so first you are going to design the login page and the login page it should have the mandatory details like the first name last name email as well as phone number so you are going to create a login page and you are going to first add the registration form so once the user register himself like the user can be either a seller or a buyer so you need to create a login page in which you need to include the registration form for the new users so once registration is done you can just um, add the sign in button wherein user can directly sign in with their credentials and then you can just uh, move to the next step so this is the first step the first step is that the login page should be created and then they have the seller flow as well as buyer flow so in case of the seller flow you are going to list the attributes like the necessary attributes for example the place details area details and the number of rooms and the nearby hospitals or the colleges so this is the flow you are going to add in the website and uh, and the seller he should able to see the properties that he has posted like every time the seller he can either delete the properties or he can update with the new properties so you need to perform all the CRUD operations for this and the next thing is the buyer flow so in case of buyer flow like uh, the person or the owner who whoever is going to like the user who 
whoever is going to see the page like they can just choose any of the property and if they are interested so you just need to add a button called I am interested button so if the user is interested he will click on the interested button and you will be navigated to the properties and the attributes of that rent so once the user uh, once the buyer clicks on the button so it will show the details of the like it will show all the required details and then the buyer and you need to add some of the features like the buyer can also add apply filters like he can search based on the nearby or you can add extra filters for that and then so this is the first step you are going to s add the login page then seller as well as the buyer so in case of part two, that is the advanced in which you are going to add some of the like add-on features so you are going to include the pagination so like the user can navigate from one page to other page and you are going to mandate the login for the buyers to view the seller details so once the user clicks on I am interested so it will navigate to the page like it will navigate to the seller details for that you are going to create some sample login page in which after login you are going to see the seller details and if there is an unauthorized user attempts then it should be redirected to the initial screen that is login screen and you can add some of the features like you can add the like button and you can also track the like counts and when the buyer clicks on I am interested button so the buyer he can view the seller contact details and apart from that the details like whenever the buyer clicks on I am interested button so the user details so it should be sent to the it should be sent to the seller in his email so you are going to add the email notification also like uh, whoever views the page so they should get the email like the seller should get the email about the buyer details so this is you are going to do in the second part and the third part that is the optional one in which you are going to deploy your application on any of the cloud platform or the services like it can be Heroku or AWS Elastic Beanstalk or Microsoft Azure so this is the part 3 and then once everything is done and this all should be completed within 6 hours and the submission format is that you are going to add you are going to upload the the zip source code so you are going to add that zip source code and then readme file or any other related documents so if you wish you can add that and then the if your application is deployed then you can just add the deployment link or any other cloud platform or service so that is what you are going to add the zip file like upload everything and there is some text box in which you can mention briefly like you can add the readme like you can mention briefly about your application whatever you have done and you can just submit it so everything needs to be done within six hours so even though it is done half you can just add the source code and you can submit within six hours so this was all about the challenge that was asked and if you need this document so i'll just uh, send it in the telegram group so you can just go through this and uh, you can just prepare on the same so the contest is already started from yesterday and it is live so it will end on 26th may so you can take the challenge before that so so in this video we shall see the website format and everything like how it looks how it needs to be Uh, so the first thing is like uh, you need to for the basic application you are going to design the login page so here you can mention the rentify and then here you can mention welcome to and you can just add some of the description and here you can include the sign up like for the new user you can include the sign up in which it will open the registration form so wherein you can add all the re required details your username password so once they click on register so you can just add a pop-up like save password so once that is done uh, like you can just uh, log into this page to enter into the site so you can design the simple login page 
so once that is done so you can see uh, like rentify so you can just uh, add like this so explore the rentals nearby you so you can just add this and you can mention the properties and features everything and then the next thing is uh, you need to add the buyer like the seller details so here you can just so you can include the search bar so that uh, the user like the user can search or he can filter based on the requirements so then uh, you can mention the details of the rooms and everything whatever the amenities are there you can mention that and here you can see the seller property so as they mentioned you are going to if you are interested so you are going to create a button called I am interested so once you click on I am interested so it will open this proper the, that is it will open a page that is the seller so contact seller you can mention that and here you can just add the add your details everything and you can submit so once you click on submit so the seller or the owner he should get the email notification like about your details so he need to get the details to his email so you are going to design this so and also they told to include the pagination so you can mention like tenant landlord so you can add the pagination to navigate from one page to other page so like this you can just design the application form and then uh, lastly you are going to if you wish you can just deploy the project and then you can just add the source code and you can just submit so thank you friends for watching and do subscribe our channel for more updates